Today on MTG Unpat, we're taking a look at the Phyrexia All-Will-Be-1 Commander deck, Corrupting Influence. So the commander here is Ixul Scion of Atraxa. Alright, so let's see what we get here. Pick your poison. So this is going to be like a poison deck. We have a collector booster sample pack. Okay. 100 card deck with 10 new cards, deck box, 10 double sided tokens, foil etch, display, commander, life will, strategy, insert, and reference card. All right, so let's get into it. So I like the little sayings here. Send me an angel. Oh no, not that one. Okay, very hilarious puns. Let's get into it. So we've got the commander printed on here. We've got some punch outs. And a divider. Okay, so we'll set that aside. A nice debt box. Which seems to be falling apart right out of the box. Alright, that's not a good sign. Let's pop out this divider here. And let's see what else we've got. A bunch of stuff. We've got a life counter here. So this thing typically goes up to 40... Yep, and then counts down on the other side, okay. And we'll see what we've got here. So this should tell us about the deck. So we have Corrupting Influence, playing the deck. Poison and Infectious Phyrexians. Okay, so Corrupted Cards, we'll keep an eye out for that. So here's how you play Commander, just the general rules. Ixul there, and some lore about Ixul, Scion of Atraxa, so you can read about that. Okay, we'll set that aside, and let's get into the Collector Booster Sample Pack. These are always fun, I've been doing these with the recent sets, and let's see if I can figure out how to get in here. Probably should have got some scissors, would have made it easier. Okay, so it does not appear to be damaged. And what do we have here? Just an ad card, okay. Ooh, Black Sun's Twilight. So you might have seen the playmat. We've got that one uh, the other day. We used that in a video. And a Foil Mere Convert. Okay, so some fun pulls there. And then we have the deck itself, so let's get into this. So I think the deck box as well would probably fit a sleeved deck, single sleeved. And let's cut the deck here. Normally they would have, here we go, the display commander. So it's like a thicker cardstock. So we've got Ixul Scion of Atraxa. It's a mythic. You can see thick cardstock there. So obviously cannot shuffle that into your deck. And let's see, we'll cut the lands. So there's a bunch of lands here. Okay, so they just put some in the middle. So we've got lands, artifacts, and yeah, here's some basics. All right, so let's take a look at what we've got here. Starting off with Ixul, Scion of Atraxa, Legendary Creature, Phyrexian Angel. So 2-5 for 4, Flying, Vigilance, and Toxic 2. So that means when it does combat damage, it uh, gives them a number of poison counters. We've got Corrupted. At the beginning of your end step, each opponent who has 3 or more poison counters exiles the top card of their library face down. You may look at and play those cards for as long as they remain exiled, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any colour to cast those spells. Okay, and we get a, another commander here. Vishgraz, the Doom Hive, another mythic legendary creature, Phyrexian Insect 3345, has Menace and Toxic 1. When Vishgraz, the Doom Hive, enters the battlefield, create 3 1 1 colourless Phyrexian Might. Artifact creature tokens with Toxic 1, and this creature can't block. Vishgraz gets plus 1, plus 1 for each poison counter your opponents have. So he will just keep getting beefier and beefier, apparently. Okay, so let's rearrange things. Next up, we have Ghostly Prison. It's an enchantment for 3. 
Creatures can't attack you unless their controller pays two for each creature they control that's attacking you. And Grateful Apparition Creature Spirit 1-1 one, one for two with flying. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player or planeswalker, proliferate. So if you're not familiar with that, you choose any number of permanents and or players, then give each another counter of each kind already there. So you can see how you could uh, proliferate those poison counters. We've got Bilious Skull Dweller, Creature Phyrexian Insect 1-1 one, one for a single black with Death Touch and Toxic 1. Delightful Beastie and Blight Belly Rat, yes! Creature Phyrexian Rat 2-2 two, two for 2 with Toxic 1 and when it dies, proliferate! So here we go, it's going to get pretty out of control. Swords to Plowshares. Instant for a single wire textile target creature, its control gains life equal to its power. And Caress of Phyrexia, sorcery for five. Target player draws three cards, loses three life, and gets three poison counters. So more poison here. Icor rats, creature Phyrexian rat, two one for three with infect. So it deals damage to creatures in the form of minus one, minus one counters, and to players in the form of poison counters. When Icor Rats enters the battlefield, each player gets a poison counter. And that includes you as well, so be careful. We've got Feed the Infection, Sorcery for 4. You draw 3 cards and you lose 3 life, has corrupted. Each opponent who has 3 or more poison counters loses 3 life. And Plague Stinger. Creature Phyrexian, Insect Horror, 1-1 one, one for 2 with Flying and Infect. Knight's Whisper, Sorcery for 2, you draw 2 cards and you lose 2 life. Infectious Inquiry, Sorcery for 3, you draw 2 cards and you lose 2 life. Each opponent gets a Poison Counter. So you're going to be losing a bunch of life, so there's either something that counteracts that or you hope to win the game before then. Uh, we've got Pestilent Siphoner, Creature Phyrexian, Insect, 1-1 one, one for 2, Flying, and Toxic 1. Followed by Beast Within, this is a nice one. Instant for 3, destroy target permanent, its controller creates a 3-3 three, three green beast creature token. And Blight Mamba, Creature Phyrexian Snake, 1-1 one, one for 2, with Infect, and for 1 and a green, regenerate it. So that means the next time this creature would be destroyed, instead tap it, remove it from combat, and heal all damage on it. Carrion Call, instant for four, create two 1-1 one, one green Phyrexian insect creature tokens with Infect and Cultivate. Sorcery for three, search your library for up to two basic land cards, reveal those cards, put one onto the battlefield tap, then the other into your hand, then shuffle. Evolution Sage, Creature Elf Druid, 3-2 for 3. I remember this one from War of the Spark, I believe. It has Landfall. Whenever a land enters battlefield under your control, proliferate. So, increasing those counters again. Mycosynth Fiend, Creature Phyrexian Horror, 2-2 two, two for 3. It gets plus 1, plus 1 for each poison counter your opponents have. Noxious Revival, instant for green Phyrexian mana. So you can pay that with either uh, green mana or two life. Put target card from a graveyard on top of its owner's library. And Vat Emergence, sorcery for five. Put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Proliferate. That's pretty cool. Stealing the creatures from the graveyard. Viridian Corruptor, Creature, Phyrexian Elf Shaman, 2-2 two, two for 3 with Infect. It enters the battlefield, destroy target artifact. Okay, so moving on to the next chunk of the deck here. We have Vraska's Fall, instant for 3. Each opponent sacrifices a creature or planeswalker and gets a poison counter. Followed by Moldivine Reclamation Enchantment for 5. Whenever a creature you control dies, you gain one life and draw a card. Mortify instant for three, destroy target creature or enchantment. Putrefy instant for three, destroy target artifact or creature. It can't be regenerated. And Arcane Signet, you'll see this in a bunch of commander decks. It's an artifact for two, tap to add one mana of any color in your commander's color identity. 
Commander's Sphere. This one comes up quite a bit as well. Artifact for three. Tap to add one mana of any color in your commander's color identity. And if you sacrifice it, you get to draw a card. Contagion Class. Artifact for two. When it enters the battlefield, put a minus one, minus one counter on target creature. And for four, tap, you get to proliferate. Norn's Choir Master is a creature Phyrexian Angel 5-4 for 5 with flying and first strike. Whenever a commander you control enters the battlefield or attacks, proliferate. And Norn's Decree Enchantment for 3. Whenever one or more creatures an opponent controls deals combat damage to you, that opponent gets a poison counter. Whenever a player attacks, if one or more players being attacked are poisoned, the attacking player draws a card. And Geth summons Sorcery for 4. Return up to one target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Also has Corrupted. For each opponent who has three or more poison counters, as you cast this spell, put up to one target creature card from that player's graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Phyresis Outbreak. Sorcery for three. Each opponent gets a poison counter. Then each creature or opponent's control gets minus one, minus one until end of turn for each poison counter its controller has. Contaminant Grafter, creature Phyrexian Druid 5-5 five, five for 5, has Trample and Toxic 1. Whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to one or more players, proliferate. And it has Corrupted at the beginning of your end step. If an opponent has three or more poison counters, draw a card. Then you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Glissa's Retriever, creature Phyrexian Beast. 6-6-4-6 six, six, six mana has haste and toxic 3. It can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less. And it has corrupted when it dies, exile it. When you do, return up to X target cards from your graveyard to your hand, where X is the number of opponents who have 3 or more poison counters. Wormquake, sorcery 4-6 has corrupted. Create an XX green Phyrexian worm creature token with trample and toxic 1, where X is the amount of mana spent to cast this spell. Then for each opponent with three or more poison counters, you create another one of those tokens. Has flashback for eight and two green, so you can cast this card from your graveyard for its flashback cost, then exile it. Glistening Sphere, artifact for three, it enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, proliferate. Tap to add one mana of any color and corrupted tap. Add three mana of any one color. Activate only if an opponent has three or more poison counters. Fumigate. I remember this one. This was a nice board wiper in the day. Sorcery for five. Destroy all creatures. You gain one life for each creature destroyed this way. That also destroys your own creatures, but you can probably just bring them back from the graveyard anyhow. Norns Annex. Artifact for three and two white Phyrexian mana. Creatures can't attack you or plants or because you control unless their controller pays white Phyrexian mana for each of those creatures. Phyrexian Rebirth, Sorcery for 6. Destroy all creatures, then create an XX colorless Phyrexian horror artifact creature token where X is the number of creatures destroyed this way. And Windborn Muse, Creature Spirit 2 3 for 4 with flying. Creatures can't attack you unless their controller pays two for each creature they control that's attacking you. Painful Truths. Sorcery for three has Converge. You draw X cards and you lose X life, where X is the number of colors of mana spent to cast this spell. And Phyrexian Swarm Lord. Creature Phyrexian Insect Horror. 4-4 four, four for six with Infect. And at the beginning of your upkeep, Create a 1-1 one, one green Phyrexian Insect Creature token with Infect for each poison counter your opponents have. Scavenging Ooze. Creature Ooze 2-2 two, two for 2. And for a green, exile target card from a graveyard. If it was a creature card, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Scavenging Ooze and you gain 1 life. Culling Ritual. Sorcery for 4. Destroy each non-land permanent with mana value 2 or less. Add black or green mana for each permanent destroyed this way. And Merciless Eviction. Sorcery for 6. Choose 1. So you can pick from exiling all artifacts, creatures, enchantments, or planeswalkers. 
Chromatic Lantern, artifact for three. Lands you control have tap to add one mana of any color, and you can tap add one mana of any color, so that's good for mana fixing. Next up, we've got some artifacts here. Felwa Stone, artifact for two. Tap to add one mana of any color that a land an opponent controls could produce. Golgari Signa, artifact for two. For one, tap, you get to add black and green mana. Grafted Exoskeleton, artifact equipment for four. The equipped creature gets plus two, plus two, and has infect. And whenever it becomes unattached from a permanent, sacrifice that permanent equip for two. Icor Claw Mir, artifact creature, Phyrexian Mir, one, one for two with infect. Whenever it becomes blocked, it gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Plague Mir, artifact creature, Phyrexian Mir, one, one for two with infect. Tap to add colorless mana. And Soul Ring. I was wondering when we'd see this one. This is in pretty much every commander deck these days. It's an artifact for one. Tap to add to colorless. And Trailblazer's Boots. Artifact equipment for two. Equip creature has non-basic land walk. So it can't be blocked as long as defending player controls a non-basic land. You can equip for two. And Bajuka Bolgut's land enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, it's all target player's graveyard tap for black. And Command Tower, another land. Tap to add one mana of any colour in your commander's colour identity. Crowsand Verge enters tapped. Tap for colourless for two. Tap. Sack it. Search your library for a forest card and a plains card. Put them onto the battlefield tapped. Then shuffle. Myriad Landscape enters battlefield tapped, tap for colorless for two taps, sack it. Search your library for up to two basic land cards that share a land type, put them onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle. And Path of Ancestry, another land enters tapped, tap to add one mana of any color in your commander's color identity, and when that mana is spent to cast a creature spell that shares a creature type with your commander, which in this case would be Phyrexian, scry one. Canker Bloom, Creature Phyrexian Fungus. 3 2 for 2 for 1, sack it. You get to choose 1, destroy target artifact, destroy target enchantment, or proliferate. Sandstep Citadel, a land enters the battlefield, tap, tap for white, black, or green mana. Tainted Field, tap for colorless, or tap for white or black. Activate only if you control a swamp. Expand the Sphere, Sorcery for four. Look at the top six cards of your library. Put up to two land cards from among them onto the battlefield tapped and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. And if you put fewer than two lands onto the battlefield this way, proliferate a number of times equal to the difference. And Tainted Wood. It's a land tap for colorless, tap for black or green. Activate only if you control a swamp. Noxious Assault, Sorcery for 5. Creatures you control get plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. Whenever a creature blocks this turn, its controller gets a poison counter. Brutal. And Unnatural Restoration, Sorcery for 2. Return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Proliferate. Venomous Brutalizer, Cry Creature Phyrexian Knight, 4, 4, for 4. Toxic 3, what? When it enters the battlefield, you may pay one and a green if you do proliferate. And Mere Convert, Artifact Creature Forex in Mere 2 1 for 2, has Toxic 1. And if you tap and pay 2 life, you get to add 1 mana of any color. Phyrexian Atlas. It's, this looks like all the uh, levels of hell in uh, Dante's Inferno. Artifact for 3, tap to add 1 mana of any color, has corrupted whenever Phyrexian Atlas becomes tapped. Each opponent who has three or more poison counters loses one life. Okay, so now we've got a bunch of lands here. So these are just the basic lands. So plains, we have six of those. And swamps, six of those. Forests, eight of those. Okay, so now we've got some non-basic lands. Canopy Vista, it's a forest plains. Tap for green or white. Enters the battlefield, tapped. Unless you control two or more basic lands. Exotic Orchard, tap to add one mana of any color that a land an opponent controls could produce. 
Fortified Village, another one for green and white. So you may reveal a forest or plains card from your hand when it enters battlefield. And if you don't, it enters battlefield tapped. Khan's Bastion, tap for colorless for four, tap proliferate. Necro Blossom Snarl, as it enters battlefield, you may reveal a swamp or forest card from your hand. If you don't, it enters battlefield tapped, tap for black or green. Shine Shadow Snarl, so same deal for plains or swamps. Sungrass Prairie, a land for one tap, add green and white mana. Temple of Malady, enters battlefield tapped. When it enters battlefield, scry one tap for black or green. Temple of Plenty, same deal but for green or white. And Temple of Silence, same thing but for white or black. Okay, so let's check out the tokens here. So we've got, of course, the Poison Counter. You're going to need a bunch of these. On the other side, we have a Phyrexian Might. So this is the dude with 1-1. One, one. Toxic 1, this creature can't block. Okay, Poison and Might. Poison and Might. So we've got a bunch of those Poison. And on the other side of this one, we've got a 3-3 three, three Beast. Then we have a Phyrexian Worm, Star Star with Trample and Toxic 1. On the other side, Phyrexian Horror, Star Star. So a Worm, and on the other side, Phyrexian Insect, a 1-1 one, one with Infect. Another Worm and Insect. And then we have a Phyrexian Might, 1-1 one, one with Toxic 1, this creature can't block. On the other side, we've got an insect, another mite, an insect, and mite, an insect, and then parts your turn and popular magic formats. So if you like decks with infect, uh, you like this toxic mechanic here, and proliferating, so you're creating lots of counters. So basically, the win condition is you just poison your opponents, and you only need 10 Poison Counters to get them out of the game. So, should be pretty easy with this deck. Let me know in the comments what you think about this one. And we'll be taking a look at the other Commander deck from Phyrexia. All will be one shortly. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.